Hello, and welcome to the subpar stream. Uh, I'm back playing Bayonetta again, so, you know, this is uh, an M-rated game, so, you know, if you're underage, please don't watch. Anyway, I'm actually re-recording this part, because when I uh, first played it a little while ago, uh, my mic was turned off. I mean, I was wearing it and all, but, I mean, I guess the switch on it turned off. I guess it accidentally turned off, so I'm back again. I mean, I already finished this chapter, so you see I've already got the, I've already got the Gates of Hell option. That's basically just a shop, but I'm gonna restart this chapter again, so let's go. Oh, yeah. Nothing too much. I did get in. I asked around, and some whale in Europe is trying to fence a huge rock on the black market. He calls it the right eye, saying it's part of some set called the Eyes of the World. Fits the bill of what you're after, don't it? Now, here's the funny bit. The stone passes around the halls of power for hundreds of years, vanishes, and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. But the seller wanted an arm and a leg for it, to the point no one could stomach the price. So back goes the stone, but not before everyone figures out where that guy is. <laughs> and you're gonna enjoy doing this one, I bet. I love sticking it to the rich. Of course, when you do, don't forget your old buddy Enzo stuck his neck out on this one. Slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket for my trouble. Right? Anyway, you better get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere. Paradise of Europe. Thank you. But yeah, as you can tell from the story, we sort of don't have our memories, or at least all of them. We kind of fight angels for a living, and now we're looking for this right eye jewel. I'm probably going to try and run through this since, I, like I said, I tried recording it literally before I'm, right, I'm recording it again, re recording it again, so kind of want to finish it. I mean, while with the cutscenes, it took like 40 minutes. Also, instead of broadcasting, I'm going to try just recording the parts separately, because when I, uh, Rewatch the broadcast video. The uh, quality didn't uh, quality didn't seem that good. That was like the best piece of music in the whole game, and it ends so soon. Pretty sure you hear it during the end credits, though. So much like Randy Orton, she hears voices in her head. Oh god, that women's elimination chamber sucked. <laughs> Jesus. Sir, this is supposed to be paradise? But yeah, you can see now. Instead of having little arenas that we just fight in, we can uh, wander around a bit, check out stuff, shoot up benches and uh, pots to get some halos, maybe, or some items, some alchemy items, basically. But yeah, during my uh, first playthrough, I did get a, a new weapon by finding an LP. You can switch sets of weapons by pressing L2. I just got some shotguns. Uh, anyway. Oops. You do have to go this way. But yeah, basically, you attack these things until they, uh, you know, open up for you. 
light them up all the way. This is just a treasure chest, just to kind of attack them. It's a key for the door, but you can also use it as, use it as a weapon, because once I jump across this pit, we'll have us a bit of a fight. Or at least, I, or I guess right here. But yeah, the more you fill up that meter, the more halos you get. Yeah, you run into little fights like this, you, then you get ranked on them. After I open up this door, I believe. Hmm. Another pure platinum, but then again, I guess the fight took a bit longer. Two crystal statues, one is in pieces. It has been destroyed in an unnatural manner as if in a fit of rage, powered by a deeply held grudge. So basically you got this little barrier and I've got me another fight. Getting pure platinum don't like damage and combos just uh not taking too long. I'll switch back to my regular guns. My default ones. Lumen Sage and Umbra Witch, when their powers meet in a test of strength, the lightning release will be your test. If you wish to po walk upon water, prove your metal by dodging the lightning in a single hair's breadth. So yeah, press L2 to switch back to these. So anyway, activate these, press square again, then uh, gotta dodge a little lightning bolt. Activate switch time, and now I can walk on this water. The little green thing I just picked up was basically a health recharge. That just activates this platform. some cheeky halos and some little items just to concoct. Yeah, you can make items by picking up ingredients. Sometimes getting by destroying these pots or... So that right there is a gate of hell. Basically it takes you to the shop. Sounds teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is? Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of a town you and I live in is close to both. But the Vigridians, they got a special air about them. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. That shit just plain creeps me out. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're spoiling for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. 
So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. Right on, baby. Right on. <laughs> so as you can see the halos are pretty much the rings from the sonic games which you know considering this is made by sega makes sense so i'll pop in here and plus i've got more halos than the last time since like i said <laughs> i'm redoing this take care of my babies will you some people may have a thing for the 45s, but to me, these are the real works of art. Yeah, uh, I found an LP that you can trade in for a weapon, and this is basically just an alternate version of it. Plus, I think it lets you, like, double wield them. Because when you set weapons, you can set them on your hands or feet. Still don't have enough for any accessories. Items, you know, they're basically just healing items. Eh, what the heck. I've already got two of these. Oh, wait, no, this is a full one, so that increased my vitality right away. I just bought the air dodge. That's the only one I really needed, but as you keep going, you'll get more unlocked. But yeah, I mean, this is basically your menu right here. So you can circle around your weapons, just sort of choose where you want to put them, set A or set B, hands, feet. So you can see, I've only got the one set of these, so I can only put them on either my hands or my feet. Now let's switch them up. Oops. Maybe these work better on the feet. Anyway, you got items to concoct with. Uh, so two more of these little broken hearts, and I can get another health upgrade. Yeah, you can kind of see the recipes on the left. Just circle around which one to make. These are just, well, this is basically a bestiary, which just shows all the angels you have fought. But as you go through the levels, you can also pick up pieces of notebooks. I've gathered some from here, but like I said, I'm not really reading them. want to look around a bit because you know you might have some chests lying around or maybe some all fine portals all fine portals are basically just little fights that you can uh do to do and they have certain rules that you have to abide by basically you uh beat them you get i think a lot of times you get some of the uh lps to trade in for weapons oh shoot i forgot about those that was like a crow. 
You find them throughout levels, you gotta pick them up before they fly away. I think if you uh, back off a bit, they'll come back. But yeah, I almost forgot about, I actually forgot about those until I just saw it just now. Uh, Alright. What button you gotta press to pick them up? Alright. So square to grab them, but I kinda missed it again. far away. There we go. Umber and Tears of Blood. Basically just a collectible. I forget if they actually do anything worthwhile. Ah, there's a chest right there. But yeah, since I already got that in my first playthrough, I already unlocked what was in it originally. So basically just introduced to a new enemy type. There's also a couple of weapons you can pick up in this fight. Because you can pick up special weapons during fights, then use them for a bit, you know, before they break. So, Plod, Third Sphere, Archangels. Some weapons will have special abilities like that. See how they work on the feet. And now we got this big boy. Beloved, second sphere, powers. Sometimes when you fight big guys like this, once their life gets down, you can do, kind of do climax attacks. Right now, basically a big cinematic thing with more button mashing and or stick spinning just to get more points. Didn't quite get it up all the way, but...
Oof. Harsh. Hey, got me an axe to play with. Got this little trumpet here. There was something around here, but I guess that was wrong. Oh well. I mean, I'm not going for a 100% playthrough. Is there anything on top of the Oh, wait, some in here. Just arcade toke, or arcade bullets. Those trumpets just kind of shoot out fireballs. In here. There we go, pure platinum. But yeah, there was a treasure ch I mean, there should still be a treasure chest up here. It's just not going to have what it originally had in it. Basically, just another piece of broken heart. Oh, now they just replaced it with an arcade token. I'll keep this axe for now. So basically just a bit of a flashback fight. What are you doing? Let's go. You can still witch time them, or at least these fireballs. But once I get a bit down a bit further down, I'll still run over here just to get to the main fight. Yeah. Ah, we hardly knew ye. Ye too. But yeah, now that we're uh, in the fight proper, what will happen sometimes is uh, both of these heads will sort of bite at you. Gives you a chance to witch time them. And actually attack the heads directly. Got a little bit of a tail swing there that you can dodge. Do enough damage, he'll just run away. All right, pure platinum. Another gates of hell. Don't really need anything right now. Pretty much 
just attack his hand. Once again, though, once he gets damaged, or at least this guy, he'll just throw this uh, piece of the bridge that you're on, get a little quick time event. And a nice little pose for you. There's some stuff I'm missing in this area. But yeah, basically, try to go to the store. He'll come pops back up here. Just run back, since you can, uh, die, you know, die by falling off here. Stage crumbles a bit, but nothing too bad. Yeah, got me a trophy. And a climax attack. And for those of you that aren't really familiar with Bayonetta, you're wondering why your uh, clothes kind of come off there. Uh, her attacks are kind of made from her hair, but also her costume is too, so once she does one of these big wicked weaves, it basically takes all the hair off of her costume. That's kind of the main reason why people didn't think she would be in Smash, but obviously she is. Gold medal, but took too much time. So that was the first official stage. The one I did previously was a prologue. But you can see I missed two spots right there, so I think those were like two Alfheim portals. Still got the gold prize. But yeah, you can see I did better now than I did last time. So I'll update. I even got more bullets this time around. Uh, do, 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 any... Let's see, I'll just wait a bit here for him to come back. So we're going to go ahead and save. And that's going to be it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time.